Barney's Halloween Party. Once a year, on Halloween night, pumpkins and scarecrows come into sight. There are spiders and ghosts to decorate the room. Barney, better hurry! His friends are coming soon. There's a knock at the door. Who can it be? A princess? A pirate? Who else do you see? There are pumpkins to carve with bright shining faces. Where should we put them? We know many good places. Let's stuff a scarecrow and sit him up tall. He wears a straw hat in blue overalls. Barney plays music for a Halloween dance. Look at the friends as they skip, twirl, and prance. A Halloween moon lights up the sky. Let's trick or treat at houses nearby. We'll knock on the door and shout, "Trick or treat!" Now open your bags for good things to eat. We see monsters and ghosts as we walk down the street. What other friends do you think we will meet? Our bags are now full, and it's getting late. Time to go home. Trick or treating was great. Halloween night is almost done, so blow out the candles, Barney. Hopes you had fun. Happy Halloween! The end. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Don't miss our next Halloween story. Barney's Peekaboo Halloween. Barney's Peekaboo Halloween. It's Halloween night, Baby Bop says. Barney, it's time to dress up and go trick or treating. Baby Bop hangs on the Barney's hand tightly. I'm a little scared, Barney. Will you hold my hand, please? Of course, Baby Bop," replies Barney with a smile. "We'll have a not so scary Halloween." Ooh! Well, well, what's that sound? Asks Baby Bop. It sounds like a ghost. There is no such thing as a ghost, Baby Bop," laughs Barney. "It's just an old hoot owl." Peekaboo! Hoots the hoot owl. Screech! Screech! <laughs> oh my goodness! Exclaims Baby Bop. What? Well, what? What's that sound? It sounds like a wicked witch. That's not a wicked witch. Smiles Barney. That's just our friend Scooter sitting on a creaky branch. Peekaboo! Chatters Scooter. Whoosh! Whoosh! Look, Barney. Whispers Baby Bop, as the wind howls through the pumpkin patch. That scarecrow is staring at me. That scarecrow isn't staring at you, Baby Bop, says Barney. Those are just little fireflies. Peekaboo! Buzz the little fireflies. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Barney, can you hear that? Asks Baby Bop. That sounds like a giant bat. That's not a giant bat," smiles Barney. "Those are just some little mice trick or treating." Peekaboo! Squeak the trick or treating mice. Boing, boing, boing. What, what, what is that, Barney? Whispers Baby Bop. It looks like that spider is moving. Don't be afraid, Baby Bop," says Barney. "That spider is just a decoration." Oh, okay. Giggles, Baby Bop, feeling a little silly. Thank you for the treats, Peekaboo. Say the friendly neighbors. Peekaboo, Baby Bop, Barney, did you hear that? Asks Baby Bop. That jack o' lantern is talking to me. Don't be silly, Baby Bop. Laughs Barney. It's just BJ with a jack o' lantern that he made for you. Happy Halloween, sissy! Shouts BJ. Did I scare you? Maybe just a little," giggles Baby Bob. But Barney made sure I had a not so scary Halloween. The end. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Don't miss our next Halloween story, Barney's Trick or Treat. Bye bye. Barney's Trick or Treat. Baby Bob and BJ are so excited. It's Halloween. They look through Barney's big costume chest, 
searching for just the right costumes to wear, trick or treating. Let's find something really fun to wear," suggests Barney. "This is fun," says BJ. "I'm a superhero." And I'm a bumblebee," buzzed Baby Bop happily. "And I'm a super de duper scarecrow," adds Barney. "I can't wait to get lots of treats," exclaims Baby Bop. "Yeah, let's visit lots of houses," agrees BJ. "Except maybe that spooky old house at the end of the street." "Trick or treat!" shouts Baby Bop and BJ. They receive many sweet surprises from friendly neighbors. Scooter the puppy wants to trick or treat too. Baby Bop says, "No, Scooter, you can't come with us tonight. Let go of my bag." But Scooter has accidentally bitten a hole in Baby Bop's bag. Baby Bop doesn't see the treats falling out as she runs to catch up with Barney and BJ. By the time Baby Bop discovers the hole in her bag, she has lost all her treats. "My bag is empty," she sighs sadly. We have one more house to visit," says Barney. "Cheer up, maybe you'll get something nice there." That house looks sort of spooky," says BJ. "Let's go home, and I'll share my treats with you, sissy." "Follow me," says Barney. "I think you'll be surprised." BJ is a little frightened when they arrive at the door of the old house. "G -g go ahead, sissy. You say it." No, no, BJ," whispers Baby Bob. "You say it." "Don't worry," says Barney. "I'll say it." Then he shouts, "Trick or treat!" Suddenly, the door creaks open, scaring Baby Bob and BJ a little. But then they recognize their neighbors, Mister and Missus Brown. Together, Baby Bob and BJ shout, "Happy Halloween!" Mrs. Brown gives Baby Bop a new bag and fills it with Halloween treats. Every Halloween, the children think our old house looks spooky," sighs Mr. Brown, "and no one comes to trick or treat. So we have lots to give you," laughs Mrs. Brown. "It's nice to have friends like you visit." I thought that spooky old house would be a trick," says BJ, "but it turned out to be a great big treat," chuckles Barney. The end. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Don't miss our next Halloween story. Blues, blues, blues costume party. Bye bye.